It's a great time to invest in the city of FAR. The industrial landscape in FAR is seeing major growth, and at the forefront is Luis Vassan, director of the FAR International Bridge, along an entire team of innovative leaders, city commissioners, and Mayor Dr. Ambrosio Hernandez. The surge of commercial crossings at our bridge is what led Vassan to create the Industrial Warehouse Summit. We launched the series back in April uh, to raving reviews and a lot of commitment from a lot of the, the major players that are here today. The series gained major traction, leading Vassan and his team to host the second part, the IWS2. Topics ranged from trade development, construction opportunities, incentive programs, the bridge expansion, and the need for crucial warehouse space used for storage and distribution. Right now, warehouse space is, is very limited. I believe there's about 97 or 98 capacity right now, so there's only about 2 or 3% left. Basan says supply chain issues is one of the reasons for the low warehouse space. So what's happening, a lot of suppliers are, are keeping inventory, larger amounts of inventory in warehousing space in order to be ready with that supplies, with those materials in case it is needed, instead of waiting around months, maybe years, for those supplies to finally get there. As storage space drops, so does the opportunity to distribute. The Industrial Warehouse Summit looks to combat that issue by highlighting the city of FAR and the great opportunities for investors. A major selling point is the bridge expansion, one that is already in the works. It's going to promote businesses to not spend a lot of time in their crossing. So we're going to cut their crossing time, that means less time for the drivers on their trucks, uh, less diesel on their trucks. Un evento muy importante para nosotros, la parte mexicana, porque vemos que están exponenciando mucho la Impu y Expo. Entonces, el, el crecimiento que ha tenido FAR con el nuevo proyecto del puente es muy atractivo para la parte mexicana, para poder competir con otras fronteras como Laredo o otros lugares. Part three of the series is set to take place in November 2023. At the end of the day, that will help the state, that will help the nation, and it will help us internationally as well. The FAR International Bridge continues to be the leading port of entry in the nation when it comes to commercial crossings. Stay tuned as the city of FAR gets ready to host multiple events this fall under the FAR International Bridge umbrella.